one of the different ways that people could measure the concentration of a solution is using molarity. What is molarity? Molarity is represented by the capital letter M and it has the unit moles of solute over volume of solution. And this includes the volume of both the solvent and the solute. Now let's do an example using molarity. The question tells us that we have 0.6 liters of a 3 molar solution. We need to find the number of liters that we need to add to go from 3 molar to a 1 molar solution. So we're diluting. Whenever we dilute, we want to keep the number of solute the same, but we want to increase the number of solvent. So this is our current situation. We have a 3 molar solution where the red dots are the solute, blue dots are the solvent. We want to go from a 3 molar to a 1 molar solution. So we need to ask ourselves, how many more blue dots do we need to add to go from a 3 molar to a 1 molar? So since the number of red dots stays the same, we need to find the constant. The constant here is the number of moles of solute. To find the number of moles of solute, we take 0.6 liters and we multiply it by 3 molar. 0.6 liters times 3 moles of solute over liters, the L's cross out, 0.6 times 3, we get 1.8 moles of solute. Now we found the number of red dots, or the moles of red dots. Now our goal is a 1 molar solution. So we set up an equation. 1 molar is equal to the thing that stays constant, 1 moles of solute, over what the amount we already have, 0.6 liters, plus the amount we need to add, the amount of uh, blue dots that we need to add to the system to get a one molar solution, okay? Now we do a little bit of algebra and we get x equals 1.2 liters of solvent. In other words, we need to add 1.2 liters worth of blue dots to get a one molar solution.